Hi everyone. This is going to be the, for some reason, highly requested what I eat video. Um, so just a simple video. Me talking and there will be some hand movements later when I show a couple of food items. Anyway, this is the second time I'm trying to film this and the approach I'm going to take this time is I'm going to start with just one important disclaimer one, just one quite brief then I'm just gonna talk about what I eat usually and then at the end of the video after that I will follow up with more disclaimers that I think are important to mention in this video but um, I don't want to ramble for half an hour first before I get to the actual point of the video even though that is sort of my style okay so the important disclaimer that I do want to say first is uh, that obviously I'm going to be talking about food uh, about what I eat and why and um, also things that I may avoid eating I am not on a diet and I won't be talking about calories but still um, if you think that it may be triggering for you um, this is probably not the video for you if that could be triggering or um, problematic to listen to in any way. So uh, in that case, I hope you find the strength to click away and I will see you in the next video. Okay? So, so that's the only disclaimer I did want to get out of the way. And now I'm just going to get started in talking about what I eat generally and um, afterwards I will have a bunch of notes uh, that I want to add but if you're interested Let's get started. So, um, basically, I would say that I eat two and a half meals a day and then one or two snacks. Um, the reason I say two and a half is because my daily schedule isn't uh, probably what you would expect. Um, I don't know how many of you know this, but um, I haven't been working for two years now, uh, so for reasons, I'm not going to go into those. Um, but so I go to bed really late and I get up like actually get up quite late as well but I do have to get up in the morning first um, when I'm here to uh, feed my cat and to let her outside if she wants to and when I'm with my sister um, obviously she and my niece 
get up early to go to go to school, go to work. So then I also wake up with them. So at that point, I have what I call a little pre-breakfast. And then I go back to bed. And then when I get up, actually get up, um, it's the afternoon. And then I have my actual breakfast. And then um, I will have dinner. I always have dinner very early at around 5 p.m. Which is just a habit that stems from when I was young. My dad got home from work at 4 and went to eat. So we always ate early and it just stuck with all of us. So we eat around 5 p.m. And then in the evening, I'll have one or two snacks just in the evening. So that's kind of, you know, how my food intake is spread throughout the day. So now I'm going to talk about what it is that I eat. Okay. Okay, so... For my little pre-breakfast, I usually have one of two things. I will either have a breakfast bar, and these are the ones I usually get. So, these ones, this is what they look like. So, they're not like a health bar or a protein bar, but they are enriched with B vitamins and iron. So that's a bonus. And they are super tasty. So this is just a small snack that I have in the morning so that I don't get hungry when I go back to sleep. Um, so I either have this or I have two waffles. Um, they, we have these waffles. Uh, they are like thin. They're not crunchy, so they, they are soft waffles. They're very thin. They're like oval, this big, and not like sugar waffles or anything. They're quite plain, but I do tend to have them with a little bit of butter spread on them, so it's not the best, but whatever. So that is my pre-breakfast, okay, and I just realized most of what I'm going to show you is from the Nestle brand. Uh, so let me just uh, let you know that this is not sponsored and it's honestly a fluke that that's how it ended up. Okay, so pre-breakfast, moving on. Now, my real breakfast. Uh, consists out of two things, actually. I'll show you one at, one at a time. So, those of you that saw my favorites video know that I used to have this breakfast cereal called Clusters, but sadly it got discontinued, and so I went on a hunt to find something that 
would have to replace it. And this is what I ended up with. So it's also by Nestle, but this pack is open. This pack is open, so that is torn off right here. Can you see it? Right here. It should be right here, but it's torn off. So these are called honey granola. So, honey granola. It says so right there. Honey granola. See some honey. And oats. Or the granola. So, this is quite yummy. things. It is very sweet and it is very expensive. So this little pack here um, costs about uh, four and a half euros, which is like five dollars or a little more. So Thing that you need to know is when I have my breakfast cereal, I have a ton of it. I have a big bowl. So when you look at the recommended por portion size of this, which is 45 grams, I easily have three times that amount, maybe more even. Um, I've never actually weighed it, but I know that with this pack, it lasts me two days if I only eat this. So since this is 300 grams, that would mean that I eat about 150 grams of it in one portion. So that is just ridiculous to spend that much money on a, me a breakfast meal every day. And since it is quite sweet, what I do is I mix it. Switch here. I mix it with this. So again, Nestle, honestly, just noticing this. And the cluster cereal was also owned by Nestle. So you know, apparently Nestle just has my number. So this is just a big box of plain whole wheat cereal. So as you can see on here, here, here it is. This is just exactly what it looks like. Just like Just the plain flakes. They're not sugared or anything. Just the flakes. So this solves my two problems. It makes the 
whole thing less sweet when I mix them together. And it makes the daily cost a lot less because as is probably not surprising, a box like this is a lot more affordable. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I think like this whole box is about five euros, maybe six. Um, but I last a long time uh, with one of these, so. And I mix about one third, one third of this with two thirds of this. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's no clusters, but you know, you just have to move on, I guess. Um, Health-wise, I don't really care. Um, again, these have lots of things added. The B vitamins again, and iron. Also, Calcium. That's it. Yeah, so the B vitamins and iron, calcium. You know, and that's good for me. I need my iron. I have it with milk um, up until now, still regular cow's milk. I want to change that at some point in the future, but so as I think I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by rumbling skies. Um, so far, I still have it with regular cow's milk, but at some point in the future, I am going to do some comparative testing of all the Of all the noun, of all the non cows milks, uh, to see which one I can live with. Now, so that was breakfast and pre breakfast about dinner. So, already a slight disclaimer, but I'm going to go into this more at the end of the video. I don't like dinner. <laughs> um, I, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to think about what we're going to eat. I don't want to buy the groceries. I don't want to cook it. I don't want to eat it, and I don't want to clean it afterwards. I have major issues with dinner. So, one way to make it a lot easier is that I drew up a schedule, a set schedule, of what we eat. So, it's two weeks, um, the midweek, the Monday to Friday, and so it just repeats. So we start on Monday in the first week, and then when we've gone through the two weeks, we start back at the beginning. So that way, um, I don't have to think about 
what we're going to eat and it's very easy to do the shopping because it's all planned out and you just you know know everything that's coming now i know that to a lot of you this might seem really boring really repetitive but i really don't care i just don't want to think about dinner i just want it to be done you know if honestly if i could take a pill that would give me all the nutrients and would make me feel full that would solve so much <laughs> but since that technology doesn't exist yet i have my schedule so i'm just gonna go over it um it does change so it's not completely inflexible so um when i feel like something else or you know there is a special occasion or whatever it's not like it's set in stone so in week one You'll also notice that there's only meat. I only eat meat one singular portion per week. Once per week. Um, so I do this for environmental reasons. I do like animals. It's not that I want to see them dead. But my reasoning is just environmental, personally. It's just not sustainable if we continue eating meat the way that we do. So, on Monday, we have uh, pita bread with smoked salmon and avocado and lettuce. That's what we eat on it. Um, and it's whole grain pita bread. with salmon, avocado, and lettuce. And then Tuesday is the meat day in this week. And I have steak with, um, in Dutch it's croquetjes, but I don't exactly know the English word it's like it's like mashed potatoes and then they are breaded and fried what's the name for that you can tell me if you know so um, yeah and then on that meat day uh, we don't have vegetables uh, we just have So on Wednesday, we have a frozen pizza because, well, both my dad and I do not like to cook, so we don't want to do it all the time. So frozen pizza, and the one that I usually have is uh, the mozzarella one, so it's just mo mozzarella tomatoes and pesto on it, so vegetarian. On Thursday we have broccoli, broccoli and uh, baked potato slices. And on Friday, and we have that each Friday, so that is repeated. We have fries and a salad, so fries and a salad. The salad is just a simple salad, just like carrots, lettuce, cucumber, um, tomatoes, just simple, very basic. Okay, now the weekend is not on here, so in the weekend my dad is always at his girlfriend's this is all in the normal situation. We're currently not in the normal situation because of the pandemic. But when things are normal, my dad is just 
with his girlfriends in the weekend and uh, then I eat alone one day I usually eat with my sister and one day alone so when I eat with my sister we usually get takeout on that day and like 90% of the time that is uh, from from the friture so uh, friture there's no real English translation for it uh, I would call it a fries shop but it's typical Belgian takeout place and you get fries and then a bunch of snack foods that go along with it so when we do get takeout I will have a like a medium portion of fries uh, which I will have with mayonnaise, which is normal here <laughs> um, and then I will get a veggie lumpia, so what's an lumpia in English? I think an, either an egg roll or a spring roll there's no egg in it does that make it a spring roll? I don't know, but I will have veggie spring rolls um, and then the remaining day of the weekend I will have just whatever honestly just whatever I will usually I just have a bunch of fruit <laughs> so the fruit that I would normally have as snacks I will just have it in one time so that it fills me up and it's just done <laughs> but sometimes I'll have noodles or like a pasta dish or you know something basic honestly I just don't want to think about it so week two week two on mondays we have veggie burgers so we have veggie burgers on just buns we have like the hard crunchy buns not like the soft buns that appear to be relatively typical in um, a lot of places in the States but like hard buns and they, they flake and crunch when you eat them so, so just buns, the veggie burger and then I usually have it just with ketchup, lettuce and cucumber on Tuesdays we have a pasta dish, pasta pesto it's just pasta obviously pesto, green pesto um, red onion, tomatoes uh, rockets and that's about it with parmesan cheese on top that's nice then Wednesday is the meat day in the second week um, Wednesday and we have a brown bean stew with rice so it has beef in it as well um, and it's just like slow cooked stew brown beans there's a lot in it I, I've never made it myself but there's like uh, finely chopped tomatoes garlic um, laurier then I really don't know what that herb is in English they're like leaves dried leaves laurier I don't know, you put them in but you don't eat them you have to take them out when it's done anyway we have it with rice that's actually the only dish uh, that we still eat 
that, you know, is really like Surinamese food or that my mom would use, use to cook because most of our dishes would have meat and specifically chicken. Um, though there's a lot of pork used as well in Suriname kitchen, but a lot of chicken and I don't really eat chicken because the only reason I even still eat meat is because I have trouble keeping my iron up. Um, I have issues with the non heme azer in Dutch with the type of iron that you find in vegetables. I have issue issues with filtering that out and getting it into my blood. So I respond much better to the iron that comes in meat and in like the food items that it gets added to, like the cereal, like the veggie um, products, like a veggie burger or veggie nuggets or things like that. Anyway, so, and another reason we don't have many of our dishes is because they would take a lot of work. You know, you need someone that can actually cook to do that, not just like follow a basic recipe, but really has a feeling in the kitchen. So my sister fortunately can still make those, so occasionally uh, I can still have them at my sister's. On Thursday, we uh, there's two options here but usually it's wraps, so it's like a wrap, what do you call that? Like the thing you make a burrito with, what is it called in English? Would you like call that a tortilla or? I don't know, <laughs> but that thing looks like a pancake, but it's not. Um, and we fill it with guacamole, lettuce, pep red pepper, um, red onion, and then veggie nuggets, like ve veggie chicken, basically. Um, yeah, and then you eat it. The other option here, but I don't like it, is salmon. Salmon with uh, baked potato slices as well. But I'm not big on fish. And then Friday again, fries with a salad. Fries with a salad. And then in the weekend, take out once and random stuff I can find. So that's dinner. Um, so one thing that is not mentioned here, but I do eat almost once a week or once every two weeks is breakfast for dinner. I have a major sweet tooth. Like I wish I could just eat sweets all day, every day. Um, I do like fries, but sweet tooth all the way. And so we have breakfast for dinner sometimes when I want to, well, regularly when I want to. And then we either have French toast, which I have with maple syrup and banana, pancakes, which I have with brown sugar and banana, or boffertjes, which are these tiny little pancakes, like tiny little pancake-like things. The batter is not exactly the same, but basically. And I have that with like 
caramelized apples. So that's dinner. And then snacks. So snacks. I am just going to put this here already. So I have something to touch, but I'm not going to address it yet. So I tend to have one or two snacks a day, usually in the evening. And usually that snack is fruit. Uh, I have fruit every day. I love fruit. Uh, it sort of changes with the seasons, so currently I'm eating a lot of clementines, um, apples, and pears. And I do sometimes still get grapes as well in winter also. And then in summer, I mainly eat grapes, um, a lot of melon, uh, both watermelon and other melons like cantaloupe and stuff like that, um, and strawberries. I'm not big on bananas, but I will eat them sometimes, usually when I realize very late at night that I have not had my fruit yet. Um, then I will grab a banana because it is beneficial to your sleep. So another snack that I eat um, are nuts. So I won't have the healthy nuts, I will have the unhealthy nuts, so they're roasted and salted. Um, and I'll have peanuts or cashews or pistachios, whatever. When they're in season, I will have fresh hazelnuts from the garden and walnuts from the tree as well. So those are obviously not roasted and salted, those are the healthy then. And I also have this as a snack. So these are roasted and salted edamame beans. So it's really good. So, they're pretty tasty. I really enjoy them. They are crunchy and salty and enjoyable. Um, and they are packed with protein. Just packed with protein. These little, these little beans right here. Little, little. So, um, a serving of 25 grams contains 11 and a half grams of protein. So that is a lot. Like, that's a lot. So, um, if you were paying careful attention, you will have noticed that protein is very much missing from my uh, diet. So I do need a bit extra. And the thing with protein bars is, first of all, you have to try really hard to find a good one. And then when you find a good one, a tasty one, it only stays tasty for like a couple weeks and then suddenly I'm put off by it and I don't ever want to eat it again. And I have to hunt another one down that I 
can manage to eat. And then again, the same thing happens. I can eat it for a few weeks and then suddenly I'm just done with it. And that only happens to protein bars with me because honestly, I've been eating the same breakfast, you know, for so long and I still like it. But with protein bars, it's just, I don't know what it is, but something about them just puts me off. Okay, now, I know that you are all wondering, does she not have junk food, unhealthy snacks? And obviously I do. Uh, those of you that saw my grocery, uh, groceries, bag and groceries video saw that I have tons of snack foods in the house of them and that's true at all times so at all times my candy closet is nice and filled but I only have unhealthy snack foods with moderation so that means I will only have it two or three days a week I will have unhealthy snacks and even then, I will have like a, an acceptable amount. So I won't have a full on like snackapalooza. I know that there's a word for it, but I am consciously avoiding that word because I am. I will not have like a full on huge snack fest. I will just have like a couple things. Um, I am one of those people that can have like a bowl of potato chips and then put the rest away. Um, but I actually don't have potato chips a lot of the time sweet tooth, like I said. Um, what do I like? I like um, candy bars, like Twix. I absolutely love the salted caramel Twix. And I also really like the white chocolate Twix bars. Uh, what else do I have regularly? It's not good. I really like uh, caramel popcorn salted caramel popcorn, preferably. Um, I don't know, I change up the unhealthy snacks a lot. So, what do I have in my closet right now? I have like these spiculas cookies. So, spiculas cookies and they're round. And it's two spiculas cookies with spiculas paste in the center, and it's so good. And when you dunk it in tea, it is so good. It's yummy. Um, we have these little cookies called Filipinos sometimes. And it's probably a good thing that they only have them sometimes because I love them. And they look like little donuts, but they're crunchy and it's like a chocolate cookie with a white chocolate covering. It's yummy. Um, what else do I have in my closet right now? I have sweet and salty popcorn. I have... I have regular candy, like candy candy, so... Um, like the candy shoelaces, I don't know. All of these are things that I actually don't really talk about in English. I don't really know the words, like they look like shoelaces, okay? But it's candy.
don't like sour candy. Honestly, sweet tooth. I just like sweet things. And uh, I really like getting things from the bakery as well. Um, Belgian bakeries are awesome. They have so many tasty pastries that I'm just, I just love. And I really enjoy having those for breakfast. So occasionally I will ask uh, my dad or my sister because bakeries are for early birds and I don't do that. Uh, I'll ask them to take something me some pastries and I'll have that for breakfast instead of my cereal. Like I can legit just have a whole cake for breakfast and be cool. So that's about it. I'm gonna bring you back to my face for the rest. Okay. So, that is pretty much what I eat, how I eat. Um, I am not big on ice cream. I don't really eat ice cream. Um, yeah, no, not really. In summer, I do like um, the... We call it water ice because it's not like milky ice cream, but it's just frozen juice, frozen water. Uh, I guess popsicles, but I'm not sure if popsicles can also be like regular ice cream with the chocolate around it. I don't know if that can also be a popsicle. those in summer, but I'm not a huge ice cream fan. Um, there's this one dessert that I make myself that is ridiculously good. So I'm also, I'm not a chocolate fan. I don't eat a lot of chocolate at all, only when it's covering something else. Um, but there's this one chocolate dessert that I make myself and it's so annoying that I can make it myself and it's so easy. Like, if I decide I want it, 20 minutes later I will have it in the oven and while it's in the oven I can do the dishes and like a little over half an hour total and I'll be eating it and it's it's a problem, and it's called uh, Choco Hado Pots. Choco Hado Pots. It's a Nigella Lawson recipe. So if you just like search um, internet search um, Nigella Lawson Choco Hado Pots, you'll find it. It's so good. Um, I make it with salted caramel chocolate. Uh, and I use a mix like about four fifths of salted caramel chocolate and then one fifth really, really dark chocolate to give it a little bit extra. Um, and it's all good. It's like a lava cake, I guess, but uh, yeah, you eat it out of the ramekin while it's hot. So I try not to make them too often, like a couple times a year. So that's what I eat, how I eat. Uh, now a bunch of disclaimers. Um, a lot, I just have a lot to say to kind of frame this video. So, 
one, this is not like a, an advice video. It's not, I don't know shit. Um, this eating this way works for me. It keeps me alive. It keeps me healthy. It keeps me maintaining the size I want to maintain. Um, and yeah, so it works for me, but I don't know if it would work for anyone else. This is just what I do and I'm not at all saying that this is good. This is like a really good way to eat or healthy. I don't think it's bad, but I definitely am not saying like this is like good. Um, and I definitely am not telling anyone to copy me. Okay. Two, so eating this way is, um, I do eat this way to maintain my current weight and size. Okay. So, uh, I'm not dieting. Um, I, you know, it's not that I like ever withhold things that I really want or anything. Uh, and it's not that I'm weighing portions or whatever. I, I eat when I'm hungry. I never go hungry. Uh, but I don't eat everything I want all the time uh, because the reason I do this personally is because I want to be able to, to keep this clothing size. So I have a lot of clothes and I like six or seven years ago, I started consuming ethically. So I decided that I did not want to buy uh, sweatshop labor. You know, I didn't want to support it anymore. Sweatshop labor, child labor, slave labor. Um, and so I started consuming ethically, but you also know that I have a particular style. I don't dress the way everyone dresses. So it's not super easy for me to find the clothes that I like, but ethically made. So that means that to me, it's quite important that I am able to fit in my old clothes. Well, not forever, because I guess I will have to grow up one day, but like for the foreseeable future, I want to be able to keep wearing the clothes that I have. I also would not be able to afford redoing my wardrobe. So if I were to suddenly gain a couple clothing sizes, I would literally have to buy all new clothes. And how do people do that? Like, I, I, I can't afford that. Um, at least not if I want to have near the amount of clothes that I have now. So that is personally my reasoning for maintaining the size. Okay. Um, so that's kind of my second disclaimer, which ties into the third one, which is that I do gain weight. So I know I'm thin. Some people may even think skinny. 
but I am that is not the natural state that my body currently wants to be in um, so I used to be one of those terrible people that can eat anything they want without gaining weight I used to be one of those um, but I'm not anymore it stopped when I was about 20 so when I was 20-ish, 19 maybe, I suddenly noticed that I had gained about 15 pounds. So I was like, oh, damn, it has begun. Because that is kind of the, the norm for my family. I think probably for most people, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but in my family, the women are skinny throughout their childhood and youth, and then around 18, sometimes a little later, that changes, and they stop being Thin. Um, so I am the only person in my family at my age with my size. Okay, so I'm the only smaller woman um, with my age. So I, yeah, I do have to maintain, I do have to actively maintain the size that I am now. If I were to currently eat everything I wanted, I would gain weight. Um, as proven by my little month in the States, um, in where I went up a full clothing size in one month um, because I was eating everything I wanted for that month. So, uh, yeah, I can't do that. I can't personally, and I already mentioned why. Now, fourth disclaimer uh, if it wasn't for my clothes I would not give a damn okay so I do not think thin is better I do not think thin is more attractive or more beautiful I do not even think thin is more healthy um, all of that shit is part of the quite racist diet culture that so many of us subscribe to um, whether we want to or not um, so it's one of the reasons I had real doubts in filming this video because yes I do make sure that I maintain this size and that is actually not the message that I want to send out into the world uh, that message is fucking everywhere and it really does not need extra help um, again like I said I'm the only I'm the only smaller woman in my family and that by no means means that all the other women in my family are somehow less beautiful I think they're most of them because I'm not gonna say that I think everyone is beautiful because that's just a lie, I'm sorry um, everyone has beautiful aspects but I don't think everyone is beautiful 
but weight and size is not something that for me um, holds any weight um, in that equation of determining if someone is beautiful, if a woman is beautiful or not. I am going to make that distinction there, I'm sorry. Um, so I think that women can be absolutely gorgeous no matter what size they are. That shit doesn't matter. Um, I explained my reasons for maintaining my size at the moment, um, but it's not because I think it's important, more beautiful, more attractive, or more healthy definitely not more healthy. My sister, my one, one of my sisters, she is a lot bigger than me. Um, like, I'm not gonna refer to weights, but she is a lot, a lot bigger than me. But she is a lot more healthy than me. She eats so healthily. Uh, she cooks, she loves cooking, and so she, lo she loves taking the time and effort to create healthy meals for all her meals almost every day. Um, and she exercises a lot. She exercises three, sometimes four times a week. Uh, and she sleeps like normal hours. What's that like? So she is a lot more healthy than me. Uh, both of us don't smoke, don't do any drugs, don't drink, anything like that. You know, she occasionally drinks. She's not a teetotaler like me, but um, yeah, she's a lot more healthy than me. She's a lot more physically fit than me. She could easily outrun me, um, out anything me. Um, and she's a lot bigger than me, so health and size have very little to do with each other. Like, honestly, diet culture, it is such a problem. Like, um, so yeah, that, what else do I want to say? Um, so I had a fifth disclaimer going in a little bit more into my relationship with food and specifically dinner, uh, because I did allude to it a little bit. I think in the beginning of the video, um, but now that I'm here, I feel like I've talked enough and I don't feel like it is important to the video to expand on that at this point. Oh, sushi. I don't know why that came in my head. Uh, like, Occasionally, I'll have sushi. Um, it's expensive, and you know, yeah. Occasionally, I'll have sushi. I love sushi. Um, I really don't know why that suddenly popped in my head, but it. Okay, that's all I wanted to say, I think. I think that's all I wanted to say. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. Um, if you have judgments, keep them to yourself. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.